In this video, I'm going to talk about File Explorer add-ons utility within the Power Toys tool application. What does this utility do? Is it allows you to manage custom preview handlers for file type. Now, what is a handler? Handler is basically a set of uh, like an application which uh, handles the preview functionality of an application by either making use of thumbnails or direct rendering. Now, files can be previewed in a preview pane or a thumbnail previewed. Uh, you can view preview of marked on file, JSON file, PDF file, SVG file, source code files, geometric code files, stereo lithography files. Now, the last two geometric code and stereo lithography files are mainly used in CNC and CAD based applications. Okay, so these are not like the most familiar type of files. Uh, so uh, what essentially this application does is like these files are mostly dev development focus or uh, like a third party provider files, okay, which does not have a direct support in Windows operating system. So Windows can by default display you a preview of JPEG, PNG, uh, doc, docx file. Uh, but uh, all this third party uh, related or external uh, party applications uh, will not have some sort of a preview. Now, this particular tool does that. It allows you to preview the file. Okay. Uh, so it is a limited list, but I think over a period of time it might grow. So let's jump into action. If you are in your Power Toys toy, Power Toys uh, application, uh, then you will see. A utility called as file explorer add-ons now remember there is no shortcut for this uh, so it's it just get embedded as part of your file explorer so these settings allows you to manage your file explorer custom preview handlers so you can turn on the preview pane and then you can uh, turn on this particular settings so, so that you can view the application so say for scalable vector graphics SVG file you need to turn this on and then you can even select the color mode what kind of color mode you want but i'll just ignore this for a moment you can also turn on for markdown files source code files monaco uh, like a file like dot json dot xml you know those sort of uh, or dot cs proj you know this which like a c sharp project file in visual studio portable document format geometric code dot g code extension but here you need to have an embedded thumbnail within that g code file now for thumbnail icon preview uh, you can uh, turn on the svg pdf g code and stereo lithography files okay now uh, if you turn all this on then technically uh, you should be able to see the preview okay now let me go into the say file explorer first okay and then show you how this works okay now let me turn off this preview window okay now here i have set of files of different extensions okay now in windows 11 i'm showing you in windows 11 however in windows 10 application you can go to view uh, file explorer and then open the preview pane so here once you turn on this preview pane you will be able to see preview over here now by default pdf does not have a preview but then if i uh, click on this pdf now you'll see you'll see the preview of this particular application just because we have enabled the power toys tool now pdf is fine what about the other files okay so there might be other files uh, so let me open test.g code okay now this file does not have a embedded thumbnail and that's why it is not showing you over here however if i open the stl file it will show you this particular preview now let's see what this stl file contains okay so let me open with say notepad and see now if you see stl file it just contains the instructional code as you see over here it just contain an instructional code and basis of this code it has generated this preview okay right moving on to the images if i go into images then here uh all the other images are by default you know like rendered within windows but svg if svg does not like uh, you know like svg does not display the image so here for me this handler has provided this interface you know now i can see the image of this uh, svg file okay 
so that is one moving on to the code part now there might be a, a json file you know now for this json file uh, you can uh, also get a preview but then uh, i haven't added anything in this json file as of now and that's why you know like this preview is not being shown but then uh, if you want to actually view the preview of the json file you can drag and drop this to a browser let me show you that as well let me here so this will show you the preview of this particular json file okay uh, now you can use other json viewer as well but i just showed you uh, like you can also do that okay now here you can't do lot of actions you know uh, on this json file like if the json file has a hierarchy then you can't do much of the action but then at least it will show you some sort of a preview okay uh, then uh, there are other video files images files and all those things but this particular application is only specific to related to development like the markdown source code pdf now i don't have a sample of cs proj but i would have shown you that as well but you can also view uh, xml file extension let me see if i have an xml file extensions or not uh, i don't think so i have a sample of that xml file but um, no i don't have that okay so if you have an xml file even that will show you as a preview and if that the preview does not load up then you need to open this in a browser and then uh, technically your preview will be uh, loaded up from there okay so that's it folks this is all about uh, power toys tool file explorer add-ons thanks for watching